Tonight, we band together to capture the Orange Keep. The PowerPoint throne, the time is nigh. When we will do the slide development work of three office dwellers. But first, we must have the courage to master the slide master. <laughs> Uh, you don't need giant's milk to conquer your PowerPoint realm, but you do need to tune, train, and tame your PowerPoint slide master. And in this episode of PowerPoint Pro Moves, I'm going to show you how. Today we'll cover five ways to master your slide master. First, we'll explain what is and isn't a slide master. Next, we'll get your PowerPoint master house in order. Third, I'll show you how to train your slide master. After that, we'll work on inserting custom layouts and custom transitions. And finally, I'll show you how to save your slide master as a theme so you can call it up at any time. Let the journey begin. Topic number one is what is and isn't a slide master. And you've got to go with me for a second, because if you've been working with PowerPoint for even a week, you probably go, yeah, yeah, I know what the slide master is. But do you really? Let's find out. First of all, let's find where the slide master is. To do that, you want to hit the view menu and then hit slide master. And when you're here, the thing I want you to do, if we keep in mind that we have a little bit of a Game of Thrones concept going here today, is that the Slide Master isn't just the Slide Master. There's a couple of things that work here. So I wanna introduce you to the Slide Master, and that is this big slide at the top of your gallery. That is in Game of Thrones parlance, that's your Night King. That's the one that rules and dominates all the others. So below that are your slide layouts, and think of that like your White Walkers. They do the bidding of the Night Master. So the first point of recognition is just remembering that there are Night Kings, Slide Masters, and there are layouts, which are the White Walkers, and there's a big difference if you wanna work fast and efficient when tuning your Slide Master. Point number two is getting your Slide Master house in order. And here's a recommendation, before you start customizing the slides and the layouts, I want you to just clean house. If you want to work fast and efficient and use your layouts with max speed and precision, you don't want a lot of extraneous layouts cluttering up your view. Here's what I would recommend. Look at all these little white walkers, I mean layouts, and go through and go which ones are absolutely essential and which ones are hot garbage. And here's my tips. I start at the bottom. And I see some of these that I just go, okay, I've never used that. It's been 20 years and counting. I'm gonna delete it. Okay, here's one with a header and a body which is turned over. Uh, doesn't look very useful. I'm gonna delete it. Remember, when you're building presentations, you want high visual. You don't want a lot of clutter, a lot of junk. This one's junk, gone. This one, gone. We need a blank slide, so keep that one. We need a title only slide. This one looks a little crazy. There's headers, there's subheaders, gone. And boom, right now we have a basic title slide. We have your placeholder slide for bullets, that kind of thing. We've got a section placeholder. Possibly you might want two different placeholders. For me, I'm gonna get rid of that one and I just would work with a title slide, a section slide, a bullet slide. And that's about it. And I'm talking about building five-day training presentations, a major keynote speech. This is about all I would use. Point three, we're going to train your master with themes and transitions, and this is powerful. So you notice I still just have a bare bones blank default PowerPoint file open. I haven't gotten into putting in logos or themes or any of that kind of stuff. But first, what we want to do is just train the master. In other words, let's get that Night King in ship shape. Here's how you do it. The first thing is make sure you are not clicked on a slide layout. You want to be on the slide master. That's the big one. 
So make sure you have that selected. Next, we're going to leverage your themes, your transitions, your fonts, all that good stuff we've been talking about in those previous episodes. Hint, if you haven't seen them, go check out those previous episodes. They're good. So we've got the master selected. The first thing I wanna do is leverage my color. So I wanna set a color theme for the entire PowerPoint deck. And remember, we've got themes up here in this slide master view. So I'm gonna select colors. And if you've been listening, you know you've already set a custom color theme for your brand. In my case, I work for automatic, so I'm going to select the automatic color theme. And here's why I do that. Number one, it sets up all the default colors for my smart art, my charts, my word art. But then also when I move over here to the right, my background styles will have all the colors that I want. So I'm just gonna select a nice deep dark black background. And if you notice all those layouts, i.e. the white walkers, followed suit. In fact, even the text automatically went from black to white. So in one or two clicks, I've automatically made massive sweeping changes to my overall slide master. That's a good day. All right, step two is I wanna to go to fonts. So in the font theme area, I'm going to select the font of choice. And we have, again, custom fonts. If you've done custom fonts, I believe that was an earlier episode. And we have all the office fonts down here. My brand with Automatic, we like to use Frutiger, which is a custom font. So I'm going to select that as my theme and voila, over here, you're going to notice that that has cascaded through every slide. I haven't had to go into my slide master to make changes to the body, the header, it just automatically happens and that's a good day. The next thing I wanna do while I'm on this topic of training your master is also preset some transitions so I don't have to go slide by slide and custom set transitions. Now, if you're not familiar with it, the slide transition is how a PowerPoint slide enters and exits the screen. I call that very cheap and free animation. You wanna make sure that you've got that pre-built in early on. For example, if I just said, okay, I want a nice basic fade and I want all my slides to have a nice basic fade, I would select my master, select fade, and then hit apply to all over here on the right. And bam, all of these slides now have a nice basic fade. That's just one way to do it. I encourage you to experiment. So for example, maybe you wanna have your section slide actually zoom in. So I'm gonna set that while I'm in the slide master pane, hit fly through and maybe out and just have that come in that way. Those are a couple quick and easy things. I think you get the picture, but lock those effects in at the slide master level and you'll reap the benefits later. Point four is expanding your realm. And by that, I mean inserting some custom layout slides or some various placeholders on the slides. Remember earlier I said you want a clean house and only have essential slide layouts within your slide master. That doesn't mean I am a minimalist here. If there's something that you're going to use over and over when you're building presentations, let's build it into your slide master panel so you can call it up and not have to make a lot of minute adjustments. For example, here's one of my favorites. I'm gonna take this title only slide and for me, if I'm in that slide master view here, I'm gonna do a couple things. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got this footer taken off. We don't need the page numbers on your slides. That looks just weird if you're doing a major league presentation. But often I will want to have a centered title. So the way you wanna do this is you can either right click and hit duplicate layout, or you can do it the pro move way and that's just hit control D and then take that title, use your quick access panel, center align that, and then use Control E to then center align. So you've got a middle aligned and then center alignment for your font and you're in business. So from there, what I would do is I would rename that layout something contextual. I don't know, center, it sounds good. And now I have a nice setup. I've got a top aligned, left aligned, and a middle center aligned placeholder there that I can call up in seconds when I'm out building presentations. Now, if you wanted to insert an absolutely custom layout, so something that you don't see in the slide master, here's the way I would recommend doing it. What I would do is I would just place my cursor in between one of these layouts, and up on the top left is the insert layout button. Click that, and you're gonna notice it gives you a title only slide. All you need to do now 
is turn off the footers and then right here on the top left is an insert placeholder. You want to insert a placeholder and not just a text box. If you insert a text box or an image, it's going to freeze and you will not be able to edit it in normal view. If you want to insert a placeholder, here's how you do it. You go up to the insert placeholder and you have your options. So for example, if I wanted to insert a picture placeholder, we would just go ahead and place that on your slide and you've got a placeholder. When you're in normal view at this point, all you would have to do is insert a slide, right click on that new slide and go down to the layout and there's your custom layout and bam, you click that and you insert a picture. Very easy, very fast. Point five, we want you to reign supreme. And to do that, you need to save your PowerPoint master as a theme. So imagine if you could do all the work in that PowerPoint slide master. You could set your logos, the transitions, you put the perfect shade of gray on a particular slide layout. If there was just some way to save that, so when you open up a brand new PowerPoint file, within one keystroke, you could call up all of your hard work. <sighs> if there was just some way. There is! And here's how you do it. What I'm gonna do is just walk over to a deck that I've been working on. This is my PowerPoint Pro Moves Slide Master deck. So if I use my keyboard shortcut of Alt W M, I will immediately jump into my Slide Master. And you're gonna notice that I have various slides with logos on them. I've got even a text box built with a little orange border around it. And I have built in unique transitions for various slides. So I've got this thing tuned up. But the challenge is, if I don't save this as a theme, the next time I want to use all this hard work, I have to go through my computer, find the file that had used this PowerPoint theme, delete slides, it's a process. But if you do this magic move, you'll thank me forever. So we're in our slide. What I want you to do is go back up to the Slide Master view, and under Themes, hit this drop-down button, and then select Save Current Theme. So you've done all that work, you hit Save Current Theme, and you name it. So in this case, I've already saved it as PowerPoint Pro Moves, so I'm just gonna resave it. So even if I've made a couple tweaks, I can resave the theme, and I've hit that. And I want to replace it in this case. Now here's the magic move. I am going to just open up a brand new stock out of the box PowerPoint file. In this case, I'm gonna hit Control N, and I'm gonna to go to the Slide Master, and you're gonna notice it's the same old generic one we started with, except for now. I'm gonna do one move, I'm gonna go up to Themes, and under Custom, there's my PowerPoint Pro Moves theme. I'm gonna click that, and bam, it immediately accepts my PowerPoint Slide Master theme, gets rid of all the others, and I'm back in business. Ooh, that was an epic episode. In all seriousness, thank you so much for sticking with us. And if you are enjoying these PowerPoint promos videos, I would encourage you to check out the automatic, and that's automatic with a K, Dot com website. We've got a great blog section, and for every video, we've got a hyper detailed posting there for you with more tips and tricks. And of course, we would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, click like, tell a friend, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and make it a PowerPoint Pro Moves Day.